I could smell this all day. Cutest little tea towel I've ever seen. Check it out. <laughs> Obsessed. Hi friends, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Sophie, in case you're new around here, Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been around for a while. I am in such a holly jolly Christmassy mood today. We are filming a anthropology Christmas decor slash Christmas gift guide haul. I've got my jolly little Christmas mug here. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's also from anthropology. So this is part of the haul. So we'll just start off with that. Um, it's a little gingerbread mug and it's so precious. I am obsessed. I've got my buttermint tea in here. Pretty much every time I'm gonna Epcot, I have to stock up on my buttermint tea. It's in the Twinings or Twinnings store there in the UK pavilion and it is so yummy. It's like peppermint tea, but it has like a buttery flavor, which sounds a bit weird, but it somehow is just like amazing and so cozy. But anyway, before I jump into the haul, I wanted to thank Anna Louisa for working with me on this video. I'm so grateful to be working with them again. They are an amazing sustainable jewelry company. They make stunning pieces at a really great affordable price. All of their pieces are such high quality and they're made from really great sustainable materials. Anna Louisa is actually a totally carbon neutral and water neutral company, which is amazing. I love what they're doing for the planet. They're not harming the planet in the process of making their beautiful pieces, which we just, we stand. If you know me, you know that I really don't ever leave my house without wearing some gold hoops. And I am obsessed with these from Anna Luisa. They're called the Paris earrings. They have this cute little twisty detail and they totally remind me of Hailey Bieber. I feel like she's always wearing earrings like this. And lately I've been loving to pair them with these Susie earrings, these adorable little huggies. And I have them in the olive color. So all the little stones are like an olive green. Also, I'm wearing the Miche necklace, which is just so precious. I get so many compliments on it every time I wear it. It. And it also tends to go with everything that I wear because I tend to gravitate towards green If you haven't noticed I'm like always wearing green all of Anna Louise's pieces are such high quality made with really great Sustainable materials. Also, I know a lot of us are getting started on our Christmas shopping this year Jewelry is such a great piece to give someone. It's such a special gift It's really thoughtful and it's something that not a lot of us buy for ourselves I also feel like jewelry is a really emotional gift like it holds a lot of sentimental value, which is really special Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there in case you are still trying to figure out what you're gonna get a certain loved one. I feel like jewelry is always such a fail-proof special little gift to give. Also, you're not going to want to miss their Black Friday sale, so definitely check the link in my bio to get to the website and then have yourself a lovely time picking out some beautiful pieces. Again, thanks so much to Anna Luisa for working with me on this portion of the video, and now let's get into the rest of the haul. Also, I just want to quickly point out that I am RDH, remiss, devastated, and heartbroken. If you're a toaster, you get this reference. If not, then just like forget that I ever said that. I'm RDH that this house is not fully decked out in Christmas decor at this point. It's November 10th, which I know might still be early for some people. I actually, I don't know if I've ever decorated this early before, but this year everyone's decorating so early. And since this video is like Christmas themed, I feel like it's a shame that my house isn't already decked out, but I just have not had the time for it yet. Unfortunately, I'm going to do it either tonight or first thing tomorrow morning it's happening. So just bear with me but we're still gonna bring the Christmas vibes in this video, I promise. Okay, now we can fully jump into the haul. Like I said, Christmas mug is the first thing that I got. Stunning, adorable, precious little thing. It's supposed to be like a little gingerbread house and it's just so stinking cute. I love it so much. So that's the first thing. I'm not gonna worry about telling you the price of everything in this video, but I will link everything in the description so you can check it out there if you're interested. There's so much here that I'm kind of like overwhelmed. You don't really know where to begin. There's three small bags and two giant bags. So I have two giant bags like this, and then, oh, my arms. <laughs> and then I have three smaller bags like this. By the way, how beautiful are their bags this year? They're so festive and colorful, I love it. I'm just gonna start pulling things out of bags with no rhyme or reason, just as I grab them. And the first thing that I grabbed, ah, the first thing that I grabbed are these adorable Christmas trees. So. These are amazing because they're actually, wait for it, candles. Isn't that so fun? I love them so much. And they smell so good and Christmassy. I don't actually know what the scent is, but it definitely has some Christmas tree vibes about it. And you can take the candle out if you want to, and it's in this really pretty little gold votive situation. Fresh balsam and cedarwood is the scent of this candle. So that's the big one. And here's a little cutie smaller one. It's the same scent, also a candle can also pop it out. I just think these are so gorgeous and such a fun little piece of decor because 
they're like multifunctional, you know, candle and decor. Once the candle's all burned up, you can still use it as decor. And you can even like fill them up with candies or something when you're done with the candle. Just a thought. Next up, we have something that brings me so much joy. I bought this as a gift for somebody, even though I wish it was a gift for myself. But this is a advent calendar, but it's a skincare advent calendar. So in case you're not familiar with advent calendars, because I feel like I only learned about them a few years ago because they're not super popular in the US. But basically they lead up to Christmas. I, I believe you start on the first day of December and you go all the way up till Christmas Eve. And usually it's just like a little bit of chocolate or candy or something. But this is like a very fancy bougie advent calendar and you get 24 pieces of skin care which is very exciting so they have so many things in them i like to keep them a surprise for me so like if someone got this for me i would not read the back and like spoil it for myself oh i just realized i could open it up hang on a second are you ready for this how cute is that so every day you open up one of the little compartments say like day one which I don't want to like mess it up so I'm not gonna fully open it but as you can see you just take out the box for the corresponding day and open it up and then you have some special skincare in there or like little beauty treats this little jar says Blitzen's best spiced eggnog that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life but here's just a couple of the skincare that comes in here because they're not skimping out it's like very nice nice skincare um, there's some Sunday Riley in here. There's Youth to the People. You guys know how much I love the Youth to the People um, cleanser. Living Proof Hair Product Caudalie. Peter Thomas Roth. Mario Badescu. Lana Lips Butter London. There's so many beautiful products in here. I just feel like advent calendars are the sweetest, most like fun, festive tradition. It's so fun to like have this little surprise waiting for you every morning of December. It's so fun. Next up, we have this gorgeous puzzle. I feel like it's really overexposed, but it's from Rifle paper co and it's the holidays on ice puzzle it's just so cute i think it's supposed to be new york city and it's just like this beautiful city scene and a little snow globe look how cute that is that's what the puzzle looks like when you're done with it puzzles are one of my favorite ways to spend the time over the holidays it's just like such a cozy activity and really fun to do with your family so yeah i love me some puzzles and this one is just so gorgeous i might actually bust this one out on thanksgiving and do it during our thanksgiving trip I think that'd be really fun. Okay, I am so excited about this next thing. Monopoly, but make it like the cutest thing you've ever seen. I just, so they've made the Monopoly board to look like this really gorgeous like a book basically. Um, yeah, vintage bookshelf edition it's called. But you open it up and it's just Monopoly, but in like the cutest possible way. I mean, I'm not gonna show you that much more of it because I don't wanna mess it all up. Um, as I'm giving this as a gift as well. But they actually have quite a few of these vintage bookshelf edition games. I know that they had Clue. I think they had Scrabble. They have like a whole bunch of board, like classic board games. It'd be so fun to like collect up all of these little bookshelf editions of your favorite games and have them displayed. They just like look so beautiful. So if you have any people in your life that love board games, I would definitely check out their selection of the vintage bookshelf edition games because I mean, I've never seen anything cuter. Okay, getting into some more decor, I have a couple pillows to share with you that are just so fun and like cheeky. This one is so fuzzy and soft and one side is as nice and you guessed it, it says naughty on the other side. I just think this is such a fun and cheeky little pillow. I love the yellow and then it has this little pink dot. It's just sort of like unexpected and fun. And also this pillow could be like not even just for the holiday season because this is nice on one side. I feel like you could just have that out all the time and it's just like a cute pillow, not necessarily Christmas themed, but obviously because this is naughty on the other side, it's very Christmas themed. I actually grabbed two festive pillows because I literally could not help myself. This is the cutest, most gorgeous little holiday pillow I've ever seen in my life. Look at that, it's just so sweet. It just feels really nostalgic and sort of vintagey. It's all embroidered here just really gorgeously made um and it's like all these kids having a little snowball fight i just think it's so cute it reminds me of me and all my cousins playing in the snow in canada um so yeah i really love it okay i have a blanket which is so stunning with these little pom-poms on it that make it very festive this is actually a gift for somebody special in my life i think it is the most gorgeous blue color it's sort of like a I don't really know how to explain it, but you can see. It's just a very festive kind of blue. It is the softest thing in the world. This blanket is like a dream. It would look super gorgeous just thrown over the couch or as like a, a foot of the bed throw. Very, very cute. Next up is this adorable little beanie that I got for myself. I think it's so cute. I love these tones. It's sort of fall vibes, but I feel like the pom-pom makes it extra Christmassy. Um, and I'm not gonna put it on right now because it would like mess up my little sleek bun, but 
very cute very comfy it's not scratchy at all it's very very soft i have worn it um i wore it once for this tiktok that i made i just love a good beanie especially when they have these big fluffy poofs on top makes me very happy oh okay here's another thing that i desperately wanted to get for myself but i said nope it's gonna be a gift i've been trying to be really intentional about christmas shopping early this year so everything that i found i'm like no it's a gift for someone it's gotta be a gift we gotta get this christmas shopping done and not only are they really cute but they're very nice quality the soles of them are like a really nice non-slip material and they're really squishy here like in a good way like they're firm but squishy so i feel like they'd be really supportive which is nice next up we have these precious adorable little um fluffy socks they're like the perfect stocking stuffer in my opinion a little lavender color it says that they're plush foam socks so they're just the comfiest squishiest thing i've ever felt they've got these little pom-poms on the back these are just <laughs> so cute to wear around the house around the holidays honestly i am the biggest sucker ever for cozy socks and these are just like the coziest i've ever seen finally something that i'm actually keeping <laughs> This candle is on another level. It's my favorite Christmas candle that I think I've ever smelt. The scent is called Fir and Firewood and it is the most Christmassy, gorgeous scent you've ever smelled. It smells like a Christmas tree, but it smells fresh, but it also smells woodsy. I could smell this all day. How pretty is this packaging? Very Christmassy. I cannot get enough of the scent. It is so stunning and I cannot wait to light this and smell up my house with Christmas tree goodness. Next up we have this cutest little tea towel I've ever seen. How cute is that? It says Seasons Eatings on it which is so cute. Um, I actually have not decided if I want to keep this or give it um, as part of my secret Santa gift to someone over Thanksgiving. How cute is that? It's got a little snowman head. This is the back of it. I love the pink. I just love how colorful and fun it is. Um, so yeah, to be determined if I'm keeping this or not but love it so much okay you guys this blanket might be the most luxurious gorgeous blanket you've ever seen in your life probably i've ever seen in my life i'm obsessed with the green color this is how it is on the back it's sort of this like really soft almost velvety finish on the back of it and then the front is like this really furry oh my gosh look at it it is softer even than it looks. Like it's the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. And this color is just so stunning. I love it so much. I I think this might be the most perfect blanket that ever existed. Let me just stand well back so you can fully see. It's massive. So like weighty and heavy and comforting. Like I said, the softest thing you've ever felt in your life. It's just, look at that. Look at the texture, look at the color. It's the best thing ever. I feel like you just can't go wrong with gifting a very luxury blanket. I feel like they're just so beautiful and they will not go unappreciated because who doesn't like wrapping themselves up in a cozy piece of just soft coziness? <laughs> I feel like this went by way too fast, but it also might be really long. I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun, so it felt really fast. There's only one thing left to show you and it is really, really heavy. Oh gosh. Okay, the last thing I have to show you is not actually even Christmas themed, but I think it's a beautiful gift. I have someone specific in mind I'm giving it to you. So if you have someone with this sort of taste in mind, it would be an amazing gift, but check it out. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? It's this beautiful little, I don't know if you'd call it a bust or just like a head. I don't know. It's this beautiful head thing that you can put a plant inside. Um, and I just think it'd be so beautiful with like a nice plant coming out of it. Isn't that so cool? And I just have someone in mind that I know would just love this and it's like very her style and aesthetic. So I just thought it was really, really cool and like a fun, interesting gift that is pretty unique to like a specific person's style. But anyway, she's got like gold painted into her hair. Just so pretty. I just thought it was too gorgeous to pass up and I know this specific person is going to love it. So yeah that was the last thing but yeah that is it for this haul like i said it was a little anthro christmas decor slash gift guide not totally comprehensive because i didn't go online and like scour the entire website i just went into the store and this is everything that i found in the store that i was like couldn't leave without because it was either a perfect gift or the cutest decor or you know 
I just couldn't help myself. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, everything will be linked in the description box below. And I also want to thank Anna Louisa again for working with me on this video. They're amazing. Definitely check them out um, in the link in my description. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the places. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.